when a thermostat calls for heat, it comes down to this junction box right here. And when it says, I need heat, it sends a signal down to the burners. Now, the burners will stay running until this temperature is reached. You see this 180 right here. Mm -hmm. Now, that is hot. Why 180? Well, we need to design any heating system for the worst case scenario, the coldest day of the year. Around here, we designed for zero degrees outside with 180 degree water. How often was it zero degrees last winter? I don't think we had a zero degree day all year. That's right. So just think about it. It was fire into 180 any time you call for heat. What we want to do with the weather response control is to say no to letting it go to 180 and only fire the boiler just enough to heat the building. So our work starts by going outside. So Mark, this is our outdoor sensor right here. What exactly does that sense, Richard? Well, strictly temperature. Okay. So it's important where we locate it. We want to be on the north side of the building okay. so we don't have any direct sunlight on it. Okay. We also want to think about where there might be a dryer vent or, or a heating vent because we don't want any artificial influences. Okay. So I measured inside and I know that right here I'm clear to drill. Okay. Now, Mark, why don't you go inside and fish me that wire out through? Okay. Oh, got it. Now, here's our sensor right here. There's a couple of connections to be made. Slide the wires in. Tighten them up. Okay, now I just need to mount the case onto the outside of the building. Okay, now I just install the cover. All right, Mark, let's fish that wire from the outdoor sensor back to the control up through oh. here. Yep. Okay. I'll pull it and you can just feed it to me. Okay. Here we go. Once we get it all run, we can staple it up into place. Make sure it doesn't kink. Okay. Now I just want to snug up the sensor wire against the conduit. And for that, I use tie wraps. And I can snug it up with this special tool that snugs it up and clips it off. OK, so there's our wire to the outdoor sensor. That tells us the temperature outside. Right, but we also need to know the temperature of the boiler water. So for that, we have a sensor that that's going to strap onto this supply pipe right here where the water leaves the boiler. Again, I'm going to use a zip tie to hold it tight. All right, once I've done that, I want to insulate the sensor so it senses the boiler water temperature, not the basement temperature. This is our weather responsive control. Some people call it an outdoor reset control. It's a microprocessor, and it's a pretty simple wiring. On this side are the inputs. This is our wires to the outdoor and the boiler sensors. And on this side is where our voltage comes in to run the control, and two wires that go down to fire the burner. Now, it starts by us mounting this control on the outside of the boiler. All right, with all of our wiring done, we now can see how the system works. Now, we, the outdoor temperature right now is 55. There's a zone that's calling, and before we had this installed, the boiler water temperature would have been 180 degrees, which is too hot to pump around on a 55 degree day. So now, with this installed, we have 137 degree water, and the boiler's not on. So this system's going to give you a couple things. One is comfort. Circulator pumps are going to be on longer through the heating season, putting warm water upstairs versus super hot water. And the other is efficiency, fuel savings. A device like this is going to reduce fuel costs by about 10 to 15 percent.